Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at the 14 brand new Funko Pops for Hunter x Hunter. I actually make that 15 because we also got the Pop Moment to take a look at. We got all these on the right that have recently came out. I made a video on part one, so if you guys want to see that, check it out. But I'll leave those for now and let's just dive into part two. All right, first up, we got the Pop Moment Miriam versus Komugi, and it's not some act some big anime fight that we usually get for pop moments but it's actually them playing the Gunji board game and it's a very sentimental uh, piece of Hunter Hunter I'm really glad they made it into a pop moment as you can see it is very very simple on the back it is just them on the floor with the board game in front of them uh, there is a Komugi pop and a um, and a Miriam pop so but it's pretty cool to get them together and overall I really like the pop moment it's simple but it's a big part of the show and I hope they make some more but I would definitely recommend picking it up uh, it's been on a sale everywhere from Target Hot Topic so definitely get it before it gets vaulted and first up we got pop 1092 the Hot Topic exclusive Komugi now this pop is really simple as well but it is a little different from the pop moment. It is Komugi with her eyes closed, but she is standing and holding a cane. Um, this pop has not really uh, increased in price at all. It has pretty much stayed around retail for a while, so you can definitely take your time picking it up. But let's check out the Chase version right now. Next up, we got the Chase version, and the only difference is that her eyes are open in this, and they are blue, which is kind of cool because we don't really see a lot of pops get uh, really colored eyes. A lot of them do get the standard black eyes, so it is nice to see a little bit of uh, variety, but overall, the Chase isn't too different, and it is still sitting at a pretty cheap price, around the $60, $70 mark, but I would definitely recommend getting this. I think it has a lot of autograph potential as well. The autograph by Ryan Bartley. Uh, come out can come out as really really cool so I, I would recommend picking this up and just getting it off uh, the resale market here's a quick look at them side by side and as you can see they do look really nice uh, next to each other but yeah there isn't much variety and there isn't any difference on the animation on the box itself just the pop but yeah definitely recommend getting both now let's check out Miriam Next up we got the Chalice exclusive Miriam and this pop is just Miriam standing still but overall it is a really nice pop. It's nice to get a new character and this does have autograph potential as well. It is considered part of the new common wave with Netero, uh, Bisky and Kite on the back as you can see and while the Komugis was considered part of the first wave so this is officially the second wave first uh, exclusive of the second wave and I do like it it's a new character and overall very simple very classic and you can get it for really cheap a little over twenty dollars and I don't expect this price to shoot up anytime soon so definitely get your hands on it while you can it is out of stock on the Chalice website but it's easy to get on eBay and other local places. Next up we got Pop 1106 Killua Zoldic in his Godspeed form and I do have mine signed. It is signed by Christina V and I do have another Killua Pop signed but this is overall the uh, kind of best Killua Pop that we have right now. It is a glow in the dark chase which is pretty cool to get and I'll show you that glow in the dark right now. Now if you put some UV light on it from a black or UV flashlight like this, we can turn it off and kind of start to see the glow right there. Let's put it back a little bit. It is mainly on the eyes and a little bit on the lightning in the back. Let's see if we can get a little bit more. And you can go for the base as well. You can kind of see on the inside right there how it glows in the dark a little bit. It is kind of simple, it would be really cool to get the hair or a little bit more of a, a glow effect, but can't complain too much. It is a really nice glow in the dark chase. And I just looked it up and this pop is actually sitting around like $40. It's considered really, really low for a chase. I would definitely recommend picking this pop up as soon as possible. It's one of the best Killua pops. It's the only glow in the entire Hunter Hunter line. and. Overall, it's pretty unique, and we don't see a lot of huge action or Nen power in the pops. We do in the original one, but no glow effects or anything like that. So, really do like this pop. I would recommend picking it up as soon as possible. And if you were curious, the quote does say, Step inside this circle and I'll kill you. Pretty cool. I like the uh, 
violent nature a little bit more to a, a more actiony pop. But I do like the colors as well. The white and blue really help this pop stand out. And if you get the chance, I would definitely meet Christina V. She is very nice. And next up, we got the first common of Wave 2, Netero. Very excited to see a brand new character introduced as a common. This is a very simple uh, pop. It is Netero just using his Nen, but you can't complain. Really like brand new characters. And I did pick up doubles of all the commons. It was really easy. They're really easy to find right now. So I would recommend hunting for them while you can and while they're in stores. Then next up, pop 1133, we have Bisky. This pop is pretty simple as well. It is just Bisky standing, but it would be really cool possibly in the future to get a different version of Bisky in her other form, but we can uh, only hope on that one. It is the second pop of the common line out of three, so let's uh, just check out pop number three. The third and final pop common pop of the second wave is 1134 kite and it is him holding the scythe and it is kind of cool uh we don't have a lot of a uh, really big weapon so far in hunter hunter so uh really excited to get a kite pop especially a common one one that's easy to get for a lot of people and there is another funko shop exclusive which we will check out in a second but next up we got the pop 1135 kurapika Next up, we got Pop 1135, Kurapika, the FYE exclusive. And this has Kurapika with his red eyes, and he is holding his chain out. It's kind of similar to the first one. He is wearing a different outfit, and I think the red eyes really sells this one. Even uh, the on the box itself, the red eyes really stand out in the uh, Pop animation that they put all over. And I would definitely recommend getting this uh, Kurapika Pop. I think it is... A little bit better over the common and it, it, you don't see many FYE exclusives these days so maybe one day this pop has a lot of potential so uh, definitely grab it while you can. Next up is pop 1156 the box lunch exclusive Killua Zoldic and it is him using his yo-yos and I do have mine signed by Christina V it is my second uh, Christina V uh, signed Funko Pop and Again, it is very, very cool because sometimes you can get quotes specifically for the moment. This one says, uh-oh, did I forget to, to visit? Oh, sorry. Did I forget to mention I have two yo-yos? Amazing. I love it. I love uh, quotes that go with the pop. It's uh, super cool to get. If you guys have an interest in getting this quote on this pop, uh, just get the pop as soon as possible. A box launch exclusive can be sometimes hard to uh, restock, but right now they are sitting uh, quite pretty. So, um, as you can see, it also is part of the first wave, which is really interesting. Um, we don't see uh, too many um, of the exclusives, I think, part of the first wave, but we'll check it out and uh, let's get to the next one. And just in case if it's hard to see because of the autograph, here's an inside look of Killua using the yo-yos. It is pretty neat, and uh, we have one more Killua pop coming out. Another box launch exclusive, so maybe you guys can decide which one you prefer, and uh, keep this one in mind. Next up is the first Funko Shop exclusive, Pit 2, and I don't know if I'm butchering that. It's been a long time since I've seen the anime now, but it is the first pop of the character, and it is still, I think, it, has, it didn't sell out right away. I'm pretty shocked. I thought this pop would fly and maybe one day become a grail. We'll see. Not too many people immediately picked it up, but since it is a new character and it is um, a really big character of the show, I would recommend picking this pop up. Definitely be on the hunt for it. It's really nice to get a Funko Shop exclusive pop for the Hunter Hunter line, and we have one right after actually. Right now, this uh, this pop is just her sitting right now, and it is her sitting on. If you can see on the inside, she is sitting on her own little like mat, um, which she does in the show at a few points. I do think it would have been cool to get a, a pop of her uh, fighting, but. We, we do have to take what we can get, and overall, brand new character, love to see that. Especially for such a medium-sized line now, really like to see brand new characters. 
Next up, we got Pop 1235, another Funko Shop exclusive. Kite, the second Kite Pop. But uh, it is actually quite different. If you have seen the show, you will know that the scythe or the weapon that he has can change forms a little bit. And a small detail on the common is that uh, the clown or whatever it is in the mouth has the number two, which ha is the scythe form. And for this one, it is number four, which is you can see on the pop, on the box, you can see the number four. And deep inside, see if that focuses. It does say the number four on the pop as well. And I did just check just to make sure, and it does. It is a pretty cool pop. Another unique uh, uh, take on uh, an exclusive. I, uh, it would be, again, cool to see uh, a bunch of different uh, action sequences or see what they can come up with. But overall, I do like this pop. It is uh, the second kite pop, like I already said. So uh, one of them has a higher chance to shoot up in price. It would probably be the Funko Shop exclusive. I would have to say this one is probably going to end up being a little bit more rare in the future. But let's get on to the last two four-inch pops. And now we have the fourth Killua pop, pop 1317. And this is another box launch exclusive, and it is Killua on his skateboard. Here's a little bit of a better look. You can see the skateboard inside. And... It is pretty cool, but I would have to say it is probably one of the, if not the weakest pop, because it is a little bit cooler to get Killaway using his electricity powers, using his men, because uh, he's such a creative and wise character. Um, I'm shocked that we got one such a playful pop. Uh, we haven't really got that before in this line, but I do like this pop. Um, it is still sitting on box lunch and so now out of four pops you can kind of decide which one you like the best there are three recent ones so hopefully we can get a little bit more variety of characters in the future but he is one of the best characters so it is nice to see them uh, acknowledging his popularity and uh, making a few more pops for him but i'm sure you get a really cool autograph on this pop as well so it's definitely a good one to add to the collection nonetheless and the last four inch pop that we have that recently came out at San Diego Comic-Con this year was Shia Poof. And I am really excited about this pop. I love to see, like I've mentioned many times in this video already, new characters. And this is a great character to get. Um, I'm really excited to see a lot of these villains showing up. Uh, we, I and mean, we have a really good hero to villain ratio for the amount of pops in this in this line. And uh, they, they blew it out of the water. Uh, you can see his wings uh, in the pop and all over the box. It is a gorgeous pop. And then on top of that, San Diego Comic-Con, this is the shared sticker version, so you can get the official version. I'm probably not going to specifically try and pursue it uh, for this or the Gone, but I am happy getting this. I picked this up at my local Hot Topic. It was at Hot Topic for, as the retailer uh, for the San Diego Comic-Con for 2023. But again, you can see... His wings in the back of the pop. They look very, very nice. And um, really impressed with this pop. It is a very, very elegant and simple of a new character in an awesome pose. Love to see it. And let's take take a look at this giant Awaken Gone, the last pop uh, that recently came out with the Shy Poof at San Diego Comic Con. Now take a look at this bad boy. This is the first pop uh, of a brand new size. And it is a really weird size. It is around a pop and a half tall. But as you can see, still normal uh, width wise. Oh, you can't see that. It is normal width wise though. If you guys know, this uh, moment is very interesting. It catches a lot of people off guard. They do not expect it, it to go this way, but very, very unique pop. I'm surprised they didn't put it in some other, uh, uh, and they made a whole new box for it. I mean, I have to get a new sword and they have to make a whole new protector for this size. So uh, it's pretty, pretty unique. And uh, it was released at the San Diego Comic-Con, so you can get a San Diego Comic-Con version. And on the, here is the back, just very, very tall with the three commons from Wave 2. And on the side, again, showing off his long hair, raising high into the sky, becoming an ultimate dad 
God mode and uh, it does have him with his ripped shirt and uh, green pants and very muscular up. I really like this pop. It is pretty out there, but it is definitely one for the books. I honestly could see this pop increasing in value in the future. We'll see if they make any more pops this size, but <laughs> it is a really cool to get um, and them making new stuff for the Hunter Hunter and being really creative. I really like to see that. So they are probably definitely going to make more Hunter Hunter pops in the future. So I will definitely show those off. But for now, these are all the pops and let me just do one quick tour of them all. Here is a wide shot of all the pops in the Hunter Hunter line, including the pop moment right there. I do have a few of them signed, two Killua pops signed, two Hisoko pops signed, and two Gon pops signed. I would love to get that Awakened Gon signed in the future, but now there are quite a bit of characters that we can uh, get new signatures for. Um, they've done a really good job at making this line diverse, making it one of the most fun lines to collect out of all the pop lines. And I am telling you that as a promise, but uh, yeah, for now, check it out. I would definitely recommend collecting these pops. Who knows, maybe they will continue. We are getting a little bit more of the manga, so maybe we can get more of the show in the future. Who knows? We do know some of the, they do have potential to rise. The hot topic going from wave one has increased. Um, so we'll see where these prices end up settling, but it is a goaded anime and definitely one of the most popular ones with a very, very satisfying ending and a definitely a hunger from the audience for more. So I would recommend collecting these pops and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And until next time, peace.